What's going on guys, King Trats here, back another video on the channel, and today is Jerk Shrimp Tacos, complete freestyle, but came up with it at the last minute, it sounded delicious. We also got some tots here, you can see I have my toppings on the side because I didn't put anything on the tots or the tacos yet, I'm going to do that in real time because I don't want to get soggy because I run my mouth too much. You feel me? Let me take you through the process real quick. First thing we did, we got this shrimp, there are literally two pounds of shrimp in this bag, um, I'm probably used about a pound in these six tacos, but I did peel them all because I intend to eat them for the rest of my protein. So I'm eating two pounds of shrimp. What a time to be alive. So you had to deter them as you always do. And then you have to sit here and peel off like 97 billion shrimp. Took me forever, my fingers went numb. We got it done, we cleaned them off. Then we put them in a Ziploc bag and added this jerk marinade. It's my favorite marinade. I've used it all the time on this channel. Um, we just added that to it with some garlic as well as a little, not too much, bit of pineapple juice because if you put citrus or anything acidic with seafood, it'll actually make it ceviche and it'll cook it. But um, I didn't put enough for it to like completely go through there. Not that it matters anyway because we're gonna cook the shrimp. So we did that and once that was done, all we did was we threw that on our wok which was nice and screaming hot with a little bit of olive oil spray. You can use regular olive oil, but I don't use oil when I cook. And we cook that off um, until obviously your shrimp is a built-in thermometer, so you want it to turn pink. And then we added our pineapple to that, and that is it. Seriously, that's that's all I did. Um, and then I roasted some tater tots. We've got some Greek yogurt, which subs for my sour cream. We've got a little bit of pico. We've got some cheese. The cheese isn't gonna go on the sh shrimp tacos. Cheese and shrimp. Shrimp and cheese is actually delicious. I don't know who I'm tripping. Like, nah, but I, I doubt I put it on there which means I'll probably end up putting it on there, but we are gonna put it on the tots. But that's the simple process, man, that's it. Um, these are flour tortillas, I found them on sale. Um, and fish tacos, shrimp tacos, usually for me, I prefer. So one of the few things I do prefer with flour tortillas. People thought I didn't like flour tortillas. I never said that, I said I preferred hard taco shells. That is all I said, so I don't know where people got that. Flour tortillas are still good. I know taco enthusiasts say they're not real shells, but I am born and raised in the United States, bro. I am not Mexican. <laughs> not to say that other people of Mexican descent aren't. I'm just saying, personally me, I grew up eating both. I grew up eating Taco Bell, like, Real tacos I probably didn't have until I was like 18. I'm gonna keep it a full stack with you. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and act like I'm some sort of like taco from birth. That's cap. Anyway, let me dress these up real quick. Of course, I already got my damn fork in here. I got a napkin over there, don't worry about that. So we're just gonna add these to our tots. I actually got this idea because somebody on my Instagram when I made the tot casserole yesterday was like, yo, you ever have tachos? And I was like, what the hell is a tacho? And I kind of got it. It's it basically using uh, tater tots instead of, uh, you know, tortilla chips. Um, and making what you would make on nachos, and I was like, I feel like I've done that, but that's a dub, I'm gonna do it again. So I did, um, okay, now we got a little bit of this, a little pico peak, pico peak. Why am I saying pico peak? Then I got a little bit more movie revelation. Don't have a list today, because I'm not just gonna throw a list out, because y'all got mad at my list yesterday, which I found hilarious, bro. <laughs> some of y'all did, some of y'all, you know, I respect everybody's opinion. Um, let's get the pico on here, too. Is the sour cream on us, right here? Bow, bow, yeah, let's do that. But some people, you know, were, were like, I can't believe you. I feel you, bro. I'd be mad, too, because some of the stuff I'd get is blasphemy. I remember one person said that they couldn't believe that I put Leprechaun above Scream um, as my top 10 horror franchise. If you didn't watch that as the video before this, um, I said I was going to piss some people off. I wasn't lying. You know, obviously, we're not, like, actually mad. At least I hope not. But I get it. You know, like, we're just friendly debating. And you're like, how can you say that? Uh, somebody else, my homeboy said, he, you know, he's like, yo, you put... Uh, uh, <laughs> leprechaun uh, above Scream. <laughs> Said I put uh, <laughs> Leprechaun above Halloween. Y'all was really mad at the Leprechaun. Listen, man. All right, let me make my tacos real quick. Then I'm gonna talk my shit. <laughs> Listen, I feel you. I do. I said it's my list, bro. Like I had to. My list, basically, the criteria when I'm talking about list is. What am I gonna watch? Like if I'm watching some of my favorite stuff. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. Like I respect Michael Myers, bro. I do. He's one of the, the icons, and that's why he's on the list. But most of the most of the Halloween movies sucked. I'm just gonna be honest about that. Okay? And Scream, the first one, as I said yesterday, mad iconic, bro. Like, I get that. The Scream is for me, like what got me into horror movies. But I've been lying to you if I said that two, three, and four were all trash. It's the same fucking movie over and over again. Like, change something repetitiveness when it comes to franchises when you don't even change like the characters are almost identical and for that i deduct bad points you know what i'm saying 
especially with Ghostface and, and, and him being different people, like, make him one killer one time. He's always two people. You know what I mean? After a while, you're like, okay, well, he is two. Oh, okay, well, like, you know what I mean? And then, like, mm, I don't know. It is what it is. It is what it is, but I, I, I feel how I feel. Let me just, let me put this up to your face real quick. Look at look at a platter, bro. Come on, this actually looks kind of fired on it, isn't it? Oh, I'm drooling already. Let's start with a taco. I got Greek yogurt on my freaking knuckle. All right, here we go. No cheese on here. I don't want cheese on my taco. That's weird. Damn, that's just good. There's lime juice on here too. I forgot to say that. But with the citrus and the pineapple, the jerk spice is actually really spicy, which I love. Mmm. Wow. Y'all should try this. Shrimp tacos are life though. It's more like a shrimp fajita, but there's no peppers. You know what I mean? I know somebody probably said that right, because I know how they'll be getting. I'm gonna smack one of y'all one day. I love y'all, but y'all be trying to give me shit sometimes. I'm like, yo, I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys regularly comment at this point, and we're like just one big dysfunctional ass family. Y'all be commenting on each other people's shit. I'll be answering, and y'all be giving me shit when I don't need to get shit sometimes. Bro, I still love you. Tater tots are just massively underrated. Nobody talks about tots. But I got another movie revelation. As I've said a bunch of times, The Batman came out on HBO Max. It's only been out for two days. It came out on Monday. It's Tuesday. I've already watched it four times. This pains me to say this. Because I said I didn't think it could ever happen, and I'm still not sure. The Batman might be better than Dark Knight. Might. I'm still. I've watched the Dark Knight way too many times, and I have to watch it again now because I don't want to have a recency bias. But after watching it a few times, I really only watched it like. Probably maybe like two and a half more times. I watched it when it first, because it came on at three in the morning, <laughs> because it was Sunday and I was still up. So I watched half. Um, and I watch it while I'm cooking, so I watched it like, you know what I'm saying? It really is that good. I can't, like, I said it when I watched it. I said, it's right under it, it might, it might be better. It really might. And I don't want to discredit Christopher Nolan. I definitely don't want to discredit, um, you know, Christian Bale. Obviously, the late, great Heath Ledger. Like, I mean, you're talking inspiration on my hand, bro. Like, it, that's what I mean when it pains me to say that. But it really is a great movie. Like, the more I've watched it and kind of dissected it, the more I've realized the little things in it that... While the Dark Knight is so iconic and great, the Batman just feels like a Batman movie more than any Batman we have ever watched. Like, especially if you're a comic book person, it just feels like a Batman movie. And as good as Christian Bale was as Batman, the way they set this movie up I'm not going to give spoilers. I know some people still haven't seen it. But the vulnerability, the humanity, like the... This is the most, like, realistic Batman has seemed to me. Some of the way he carries himself, the, the, his actions, his reactions. And that's why I think I might. The Riddler was a great villain, the Joker's still better. I don't, don't want to hear that shit. No. Riddler was great. Great, but Joker was perfect. Damn, that's some good ass pink lemonade, bro. Like, but the way Gotham feels, 
it's raining for 90% of the movie, but it's dark, it's gritty, the city just feels alive. Um, and I think they nailed that perfectly in this. Batman Begins was a very dark Gotham like that, but it, it this Gotham just feels like Gotham. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's so hard for me to put it into words. And the way that they made Batman more of a detective, which is what he started out as. A lot of people don't realize this, but DC, as in DC Comics, which is why people laugh at it because it's redundant, DC Comics stands for Detective Comics. Detective Comics Comics. Yes, it's stupid, but... Batman was that. And this film just feels like that. You know? Not to marginalize the plot of any of the other ones, because they're great. It just works. And at this point, The Dark Knight, for me, superhero movies, movies in general, it's like a 9.9. .9. The Batman, it's creeping up there the more I watch it. I, I need to keep watching it. I don't want to say definitively, but it might be better if not just as good. And I've seen The Dark Knight more than anybody. I've watched that movie so many times, it's sickening. There was a point in time when it first came out on, on Blu-ray where I literally watched it on repeat. I'd be doing stuff in the background and beyond, and the Blu-ray, because it, it auto-started, it came out on Blu-ray. That's how old it is, but... It pains me to say it. I think what I'm going to have to do is actually, like, make a list and rate, like, the acting, the plot, the city, the cinematography... And do it like that, because at this point it's becoming too close. I never in a billion years thought I would say that. Even after watching The Batman the first time, I didn't think I would say that. Let's put a tot in a taco, right? What the hell? Like, this is why we're here. We're here to put tots in tacos. You know what I'm saying? That was a lot messier than I thought it would be. But I wanted to say that out loud. I know a lot of you people, some of you actually did think it was better. I don't know how old some of you are that are saying that. You know. But. I won't argue with you. You might be right. You legitimately might be right. I can't believe I said that out loud. I was watching it um, this morning. Yes, people listen to music, I had the movie on. And there's just so many different scenes in it to like, I, okay, here, here's what I feel like it is. I think The Dark Knight, as great as it is, and as great of an actor Christian Bale is, this is not an indictment against Christian Bale. This is more how the the movie was written, um, and and obviously Heath Ledger's performance was one for the ages. I feel like The Dark Knight was more about the Joker. Than it was about Batman. The Joker just stole the show. He commanded every scene. And I can spoil the Dark Knight because it's over 10 years old at this point. It's actually older. But like 14, 15 years. Yeah, holy shit. Wow. But the Dark Knight starts out with the Joker. The first scene of the film, which is beautifully shot, by the way, that opening scene. <sighs> um, but it starts out with the Joker robbing a bank. And I remember going to see that in the movies. And the scene unfolds, and at the very end, you know, the Joker takes his mask off. He says, what doesn't kill you make you stranger? And when he takes his mask off, the whole crowd gasped audibly. <gasps> Batman doesn't even appear in the first five minutes of the movie. 
And the movie, even though at the end it has Batman kind of, you know, falling on the sword, uh, figuratively speaking, you know, taking one for the team, then it ties in. And I thought Bale was excellent. That movie was about the Joker. The Joker owned that movie. The best scenes in the movie don't involve Batman. Joker robbing the bank. Again. The Joker... Um, when he meets the, the criminals for the first time, walks into the room, takes the pencil, puts it on the... And you can go on and on and on. Most of the scenes in that movie involve the, the Joker that are the best scenes. That's how the movie was written. The only scene I can think of that involved both of them, well, there's a few, but... The, the, the truck car chase scene when the Joker is in the in Batman, you know, and then he's like, I want you to do it. That, like, think about that movie. Think about when you think about that movie, what you think about. That doesn't make sense. You get what I'm saying. And... Even though it was a great movie, and I think Bell was excellent, like I said, it was the Joker's film. It was all everybody talked about going into it. It was all everybody talked about going out of it. And it's all everybody talks about now. The Batman was about the Batman. It felt like a Batman film. The Riddler isn't even on the screen that much. Even though he's a menacing, crazy villain. I'm allowed to say that. I'm not spoiling plot lines. But... The best scenes in that movie involve the Batman. Okay. I have to spoil the beginning. So, if you haven't seen the movie and don't want it spoiled, I'm not going to spoil anything crazy because this scene was played all over Twitter before the movie ever came out. If you don't want me to spoil anything, please, fast forward a minute. I'm serious. Okay, here we go. I'm spoiling this part. That opening scene in the Batman, where those, you know, the guys with the, the paint on their faces or whatever are at the train station, and the music, the score, and him coming out of the shadows, slowly walking towards them with that score playing in the background. I remember, so I saw it in the movies, I went, oh shit, this is dope. That was so dope for a Batman movie. That's what it's supposed to be. He didn't even say anything. He just walked the hell out. And you could see the look on all their faces being scared. And then he finally gets there and the dude's like, who are you? And he literally hits him like a six piece in a biscuit. He's all over Twitter. And then he says, I'm vengeance. I'm like, this is what I was waiting for. This is a Batman movie. You get what I'm saying? So... While The Dark Knight was great in its own, I feel like the Batman is just like a Batman movie. It's perfect. I hope I can articulate what I'm saying enough so people, because I'm a bigger Dark Knight fan than almost anybody. Like, I'm not, like, you get what I'm saying. So, but I feel like The Dark Knight made everyone fall in love with the Joker. The Batman made everybody fall in love with Batman. And again, how Pattinson portrayed him and how the movie was written, you know, kind of Bruce Wayne, a younger Bruce Wayne than most of these films. You know, he's in his 30s. Most of the time, Batman is more in his 40s. Uh, Michael Keaton was in his 40s when he played him. I believe Bale was. I believe Clooney was. I'm not sure about Val Kilmer, but you know what I mean? Poor Val Kilmer, Jesus. Um, and that kind of idea of how, how he was in the kind of starting out, and, and he was finding his way. But he was already Batman, so it wasn't an origin story. It was just perfect. <laughs> like, I just talked for 20 minutes about the Batman. You know I'm a fan. And I'm standing by what I said when I first watched the original movie. When this is all said and done, unless they completely botch this shit, which they can. I think this, if it's a trilogy, is going to be better than Nolan's trilogy. You watch the movie, you see where it is, and you see where it's headed, and you're like, man, this is going to be good. Because what made The Dark Knight great was the fact that you didn't have to worry about anything. You watch Batman Begins, you know where he came from, and the movie just starts off, and it's like, boom, let's just get right into this shit. Most Batmans have to kind of build up. The Dark Knight didn't. It just, it just hit the ground running, which is what made it so great. 
this movie managed to build up and hit the ground running at the same time. All you needed was that five minute opening where he's narrating and telling you what's going on. And he's already has been doing it. It's so good. So, yeah. I don't want to definitively say it, but the more I'm watching this and the more I'm dissecting it, the more I'm actually saying the Dark Knight might be better. I mean, ba the Batman might be better than the Dark Knight. We shall see. If you've seen them both, let me know what you think because you know I'm, I'm a big movie guy, big Batman guy. I'm looking around my Star Wars stuff. Big Star Wars guy. There's not enough Star Wars fans who can start talking shop with Star Wars, but I can go on about Star Wars all day. But anyway, I just had to get that out. Um, When you're watching this, it'll be 420. Now, I don't 420, but uh, some of you do, and if you did enjoy your day of doing the same shit, you probably do 364 other days out of the year. <laughs> I get the point of it, though. And at that point when you're watching this, I will already be... I'm tearing because I just had a lot of spicy shrimp. Um, I will already be on my way, but if you're watching this, you're a real one, and you're interested, Wingstop has their own exclusive flavor um, that comes out on 420. So by the time you're watching this, it'll be out, and I will probably be eating it to record for 421 because I can't get it now. But I had to tell y'all that. I had to get the Batman off my chest. I was actually watching it while I was cooking, and I'm going to finish it while I'm cleaning up. And if you haven't watched it, watch the damn movie because it's a W. Like a massive W. I've been telling everybody, like, you watched Batman yet? Because I want to talk about it. Let's <laughs> go, man. Anyway, that'll be it. Tomorrow we'll be back. More content. Man, I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.